Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. A couple of years ago, I got the pleasure to travel to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands. I saw large volcanoes, some wild horses. I got to swim with turtles, with penguins. and even with iguanas. I even got to see a sea lion pose for a photo on a beach sunset for her Instagram. One thing I experienced was going to the equator. Part of the demonstration was the Coriolis effect where the water spins in different directions depending on the hemisphere where you are. So let's watch this demonstration uncut. Also Galapagos, Isabella Island. But only Ecuador is the highest point on the equator because of the Andes volcanoes. So that's why here you are closer to the sun. You feel now it's a, a little cloudy, but it's the intensity is stronger than in your country. Yeah, because here you are closer to the sun, and also far away from the center of the planet. The equator is the widest part. You know that the planet is attached on the poles and wider on the equator. So here you are far away the center and you weigh one kilo less. The gravity is less and you weigh one kilo less. I'm staying yeah, here. So exactly, all every day, yes. And you, you can eat chocolate, candy, don't worry about your, your weight. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly, yes, and at the end of the tour, we have an, an exhibition about chocolate. Yeah, so my friends try to eat oh, a lot of chocolate today. Don't worry, yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. And maybe you hear the saying about the flashing in the toilet. When you go to the United States, the flashing is in one direction, and when you go to Australia, the other way. Have you ever heard the saying about the flashing in the toilet? Yeah. yeah. yeah? But it's not true because they are mechanical. Yes, you don't see the natural rotation. It is only happening with the cyclones and tornadoes because they are natural disasters. And this study is called Coriolis, Coriolis effect. Gaspar Coriolis was a French mathematician and he discovered that the spinning of the planet produces centrifugal forces. These forces start on the equator and go to the poles, moving the wind and the water. But visually they go in different ways. In the south, they go to the clockwise sense, and in the northern, to the counterclockwise sense. On the equator, these forces cancel each other out. So all over the latitude zero, no centrifugal forces, and no tornadoes or cyclones. Never. In Ecuador, the big problem is with bad politicians and volcanoes. <laughs> and we aren't afraid at all. Yes? So, okay, so. And actually, when you go to any place on the latitude zero, there, there's no waves. No waves, the water is completely calm. So sailors, they realize when they are crossing the equator because everything is calm around. Yes. There were waves in Isabella. Uh, yeah, lot. but on the latitude zero. Exactly when you are ah, exactly. You, you need to be exactly in the latitude zero like this line and then you don't see waves. Wow. Where is it in Isabella? Which in, the, in the north. In the, in the north. Yeah, you were in the south? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Yes? Yeah. So my friends, let's see a little example. Uh, about yeah. Coriolis, if you want to take a picture, my friends, be ready with your camera, just look at the top, I'm going to take the plug out, and here no vortex or spinning, water goes straight down. Are you ready my friends? Okay, check this out. One, two, and three. What the... And the vortex is straight down. Okay. Let's go to Australia. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I can't see it again. Yeah, you should talk, No, 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 you're... Mm -hmm. Clockwise. 
That's trippy. No. Then let's go to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> what if it goes the same way as Australia? <laughs> I'm getting it. The wind. I'm yeah. gonna live on the Aquarius. He's like, it's the oxygen. <laughs> I live in both. Your house is like one line. Where are we filming? When are we going to use this video? My mom's students. Okay, and now I got them to do it a second time and recorded it, but I split it up. So let's take a look at it again. Yep, ready. You can see a little motion. Yeah, because recently I put the water. Yes? Okay. Yes, and now you want to go to the south? So now we're in the southern hemisphere. Clockwise. Going clockwise. You can see the leaves are moving clockwise. <laughs> And so now we're in the northern hemisphere and we'll see the water go counterclockwise. <laughs> <laughs> 